In Alberta, there's supposed to be an independent governance group called ACERT that's supposed to do police accountability. And today was a very disappointing day. There is a, a young man named Pacey, and he had... It's a brutal, brutal story about him following police orders and getting kicked in the head so badly. Not only did it render him completely unconscious at the moment, but his injury was so severe that they had to do surgery. Um, it, it's, uh, it's far worse than that even. And uh, he'll probably have permanent brain damage from this, if not um, years and years of rehabilitation. And uh, between Acert and the Crown, you know, while they may have scolded the police officer, he's certainly not going to face any real charges. And uh, it just shows the, you know, two-tiered system that there is in Alberta when it comes to white people compared to anyone who's a QT BIPOC. Um, in this case, he was a, an Indigenous teen. And while he's still here, he just recently lost his brother, one of the key witnesses. So not only is he not getting justice, but he lost his brother as well. The lawyer claims that they're going to have a statement coming out here shortly in the next couple of days. But I'm so enraged. And depending on what the lawyer and the family wants, I mean, if we need to start going across Canada for more accountability. I think we should. This is disgusting. If this was your child, how would you feel about your teen being kicked in the head by a Calgary or by a Edmonton police officer? It's um it's a sad day because we're supposed to be talking about anti racism and reconciliation, treaty partnership, and we're not anywhere close to that right now. And uh severed more trust again, between the institutions and the people. I, how can I tell people ever to trust police? When we know when people do this, they get away with it. Like, this guy's been on pay leave. Must be nice.